Hey everyone, and welcome to another video! So, it has been a little while since I've made a video. A couple of weeks, but I'm working on getting the schedule together again, so don't worry, more videos coming soon. But this video I am so excited to make because I am announcing that I am working the TCM Film Festival again this year. Woo! <laughs> I am so excited to be working the festival again. This will be my second year going. Um, I went last year. Uh, you can see my other videos that I made if you scroll back through. Um, give them a watch. So uh, we have the film festival in... It's next week. It's next week. Oh my gosh. Isn't that so exciting? I am like, I'm so pumped! And if you haven't looked at the, the schedule yet, like, you have to look at it. I'm just, it's, TCM made it very hard to choose, and they're going to make it very hard to choose. Ugh. I just, it's a really great lineup. And since it is my second year, I thought it would be great if I shared some tips and tricks with you if you're a first timer or if you've gone a few times and maybe you're looking for a few ideas to make your festival experience a little bit smoother because it can be a little crazy. I mean, four days, tons of movies, lots of people in LA, in Hollywood. So here's some tips and tricks. Also, before I get too far ahead of myself, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it with some other friends, share it with some other festival goers, and um, if you're not in the festival, then that's great. Go ahead and start thinking about for next year, because unfortunately the passes have sold out for this year, but start thinking about this festival. It's absolutely great. If you love classic movies, if you have even the smallest interest in classic movies, and uh, they show everything from silent films in the 20s to, uh, I think, their, the newest movie they're playing was made in 93. Um, I can't remember which one. So, I mean, some of them aren't even that old, um, but they're definitely classics. And uh, this festival is really great. It's a great place to meet other people who know a lot about the history of Hollywood and uh, just how different movies were made and to hear um, from both scholars and fans and actors and producers and people who actually work in the field and um, I highly recommend it if it should be on your bucket list the it should definitely be on your bucket list to go to the TCM Film Festival. Also, really quick, one more thing before I get on to the tips and tricks. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I will be making a video of the festival that will be up um, probably in like two or three weeks. Uh, April is going to be crazy for me. Uh, it is April. Oh my gosh, it's April. Uh, <laughs> time is flying by. Uh, but make sure you subscribe and watch some of my other videos. So, on to the tips and tricks. First one, I believe this is the most important one, absolutely most important one, um, and if you've gone to the festival before, you will agree with me that this is the most important one. Make sure you plan your food. If you do not plan your food, you're not going to have a fun time, because you're going to be hungry all the time, and no one likes to be super hungry all the time. Uh, with all these movies, it's easy to get wrapped up in um, going, 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 and you know you see like the first showing at 9 a.m. and then you're going all the way to that that last midnight showing that doesn't end until 1:45 in the morning. You gotta make sure you eat. Um, I know I've asked for help making this list from other festival goers, and some of them recommend making sure you get at least one real meal in. So make sure you save. Um, I, I would say about two to three hours depending on like where you go, um, to make sure you get some food. So make sure you have, you know, your protein, your carbs, fats, you know, hit all the macros, nice solid meal. That way you don't pass out, because uh, that's very helpful. Because um, if you pass out, you can't watch movies. Yes, make sure you have a solid meal and make sure you pack snacks. You can bring snacks into the theater. So. Uh, I recommend either you could get like the little sandwich crackers with peanut butter in them, you can bring um, some fruit or maybe some vegetables, you could take um, 
I know they have like the pre-popped popcorn if you want to do that, maybe some candies, uh, Cheez-Its, you know, all those things are really great. Make sure you hit up Target or um, the grocery store like a Trader Joe's or Stayer Brothers or something to make sure that you make you have enough food to give you enough energy to get through the festival because you are you're not just watching the movies and staying and watching the movies you have to stand in line to watch the movies and that can be quite tiring and then you have a lot of walking depending on uh, what movies you're watching where because it you could be running from the um, the Chinese theater to the Egyptian theater like back and forth and back and forth and that's that's a lot of walking um, so make sure you eat and you have enough energy also on the note of eating and having snacks, make sure you have like a tote bag or a fanny pack or something where you can keep all your snacks in. Make sure you also bring a sweater in it. Um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's California, it's going to be really warm. But I know this year it's been a little up and down and kind of crazy. So one day it's like really hot and then the next day it's really cold. Um, so make sure you just have a sweater or a jacket or something because it does get cooler as the day wears on and the night um, it starts getting dark uh, and the theaters could be kind of chilly so just make sure you're prepared. Bring some Kleenexes, make sure you have sunscreen because sometimes I believe it's the Egyptian theater um, you stand outside and then if you're going to see a movie at the IMAX theater you might be standing outside so make sure you have some sunscreen. Uh, a notepad and a pencil or a pen would be great because sometimes you might want to take notes because they have uh, guest speakers who talk before the showing. Um, and then kind of like anything else like hand sanitizer or um, gum or you know and your snacks. Uh, and I don't know if I mentioned this but make sure you bring water because water is very important to keep you hydrated. Um, yeah so it's kind of just make sure you have a tote bag or something that you can keep everything together. Okay, so I've been talking about like going back and forth and there's different theaters. Um, make sure you plan out what movies you're going to watch before you get there. I know last year they had an app that was super helpful. Everything was laid out. You could see the description of each movie, who was in it, when it was made, who produced it, who directed it. Um, that was really helpful. I don't know if they come out with the app yet for this year but I'm hoping they will because that was well, it was the lifesaver um, you could just choose all the movies you're gonna have um, and again make sure you have a break for a meal you have enough time to uh, use the bathroom and everything but you have to plan it out and you're gonna have to make some hard decisions because there will be like two movies you really want to see but they're at the same time so you have to figure out um, which one you want to go to and uh, you know make a hard decision and with that being said I want to make sure you know that any movies that are going to be shown on the IMAX screen they're going to have a longer line and you're going to want to get there soon so the lines work by um, you get there and then they pass out numbers for you and those numbers are your ticket to get in. So, I mean, you can get in with your pass, obviously. That's how you get the ticket. But the ticket with your number um, shows which shows what your number is in line. So, uh, sometimes um, you're at a movie and not a lot of people are there. So, you just get in real quick. And there's not a big line. But those IMAX movies, let me tell you, I'm they're playing Indiana Jones and Star Wars. I'm telling you, those lines are going to be long. Make sure you get there early. Make sure you get your ticket so you can get in line and you can get in to see it. Um, so just make sure you plan out like when something is and where it's going to be. Because also if you're in the Chinese theater again and your show, your movie ends at like 145 and you want to go to the Egyptian and see the movie that's playing at 2.30. Um, you also got to keep in mind that there's that walk, which I think it's only like a 15 minute walk, but it depends on how fast you're walking. Um, so you might be able to make it, you might not. Uh, I'll also tell you that they play the nitrate films in the Egyptian, which I think are so cool. Which makes it highly dangerous because if you did not know, nitrate is very flammable. But uh, it's just... 
the sound and the, the look of the film and it's just, uh, it, you have to watch it in person. I, it's so hard to describe. I mean, you can look it up on YouTube, but that's important. I can't talk today. You can look it up on YouTube, but that totally defeats the point of watching a night trade room. Night trade. I'm gonna try this one more time. <laughs> You could totally look it up on YouTube, but that defeats the point of watching a nitrate film. So, um, if you haven't watched a nitrate, nitrate, I just can't speak today. If you haven't watched a nitrate film, make sure you watch it if you get the chance to, because it's amazing. I highly recommend it. Another thing I want to talk about was the discounts. I made a list. Um, this is just from the TCM website. Uh, for festival pass holders, you do get a discount at certain places. So um, there's the Warner Brothers Classic, ma Classics Made Here Studio Tour, the TCM Movie Locations Bus Tour, um, the Hollywood Museum, the Hollywood Heritage Museum, the restaurants that are found within the Roosevelt Hotel, um, the Pig and Whistle, which I went to last year, uh, great food. Um, they have a discount. I think it's like 15% off your meal. Um, so that could be like one of your meals that you decide you're going to eat. Um, then there's um, the Hollywood and Highland Center. So this is new. This is different. Um, you get a discount booklet at the festival info desk um, that's located in the lobby of the Roosevelt Hotel. Um, so not 100% sure what that's going to look like. Maybe it'll be like restaurants within the Hollywood and Highland Center. Um, maybe it's like different shops. Also, I mean, if you're not from the area, I recommend like at least kind of walking through the Hollywood and Highland Center. I mean, it's, it's beautiful. Go up top, see, see the, the view of all the theaters, and then you can see like the mountains off in the distance. Um, there's like the architecture is absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's the the footprints that you might want to check out and see the stars. You know the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Um, so go ahead and take advantage of that. But um, again, make sure you have a schedule. So that might be a great thing to do if you're coming in like on Wednesday or if you're staying an extra day like on Monday. Yes. And on that note, if you're not from the area, I want to make sure you are safe because this is a very um there's a lot of people there and uh, i know like street performers some people have had problems with because they feel pressured into buying whatever they're selling i want to make sure you know that you do not have to buy what they're selling at all you can just ignore them i know it might seem rude and i know me i'm just like oh i feel bad but they're just gonna bug you and bug you and bug you and bug you so um make sure you walk with confidence you know back up straight um look like you know exactly where you're going if you're lost look for someone who has the pass around their neck um or someone that says not verbally says but if they have like the um the pin that says they work the festival make sure you ask them or if you're in a restaurant ask one of the workers for help if you're lost um because some people they will turn you around on purpose there are some not so nice people and i don't want you to think that everyone's a terrible person because there's not there's really nice people out there but there's also you know some not so nice people so i want to make sure you're safe um also the night films um sometimes you'll get out really late and just make sure you you know you stay with the other festival goers um if you're going with a friend make sure your friend and you are are there and you can like if you're driving, you can walk over to the parking structure, parking lot together, or you can walk back to your hotel together. Um, so just make sure you're safe. Um, it, you have no reason to worry. Just, you know, just be cautious and you'll be fine. Other than that, I mean, I think that's all the tips and tricks I have for the festival. Um, there is a Facebook page called Going to the TCM Film Festival, so you can go ahead and ask to be added into that. It's a private group. 
Um, it's really great. You can connect with other festival goers. Sometimes you have people who have been going there for 10 years because this is the 10th anniversary of the TCM Film Festival and I'm super excited. And it's also the 25th anniversary of TCM itself. So this is going to be a huge year. It's going to be a huge film festival. So, um, I am so pumped for it, but uh, yeah, make sure, you know, talk to some people on Facebook or when you're in line, make sure, you know, you talk to the person next to you and, you know, make some friends, be friendly um, because we're all going to this because we love classic films. So, you know, you definitely have one thing in common and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. If you see me, go ahead and say hi. If you're like, hey, I watched your video, great job, or hey, I watched your video, you forgot to add this and this and this and this, and I'll add it to next year. So if you're going, I can't wait to see you and to meet you and to watch movies with you. If you're not going, I hope you enjoyed this This. And if you're not going, I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it useful and share it with some friends because um, some people, you know, they need to know that they got to pack their snacks. Um, so anyways, guys, um, super excited to be making videos. Super excited to be going to the TCM Film Festival. I'll see you all next time. So have a great day and enjoy the festival. Bye.